In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a glass clothing effect in Photoshop. So first step, import your image first, then we need to make a duplicate. So from the layers panel, active background layer, then press Ctrl Command J and we're going to save our original background layer and I'm going to turn it off and keep working on the copied layer and I'm going to change its name to background and after that, I need to make a selection of my subject. So from the toolbar, I'm going to take my quick selection tool and from the option bar, choosing select subject. After making the selection, make sure that this layer is activated and press Ctrl Command J twice to make two duplicates from this selected part. And I'm going to change its names, the first one to sub1 and the middle one to sub2. Okay. For now, I'm going to turn off sub2 layer like this. And after that, I have to make a selection again of more subjects. So I'm going to press Ctrl Command moving my cursor right here because it's already separated from the background as you see so all you need to do press ctrl command move your cursor on its thumbnail and do a single click to make a selection and after that make sure that the background layer is activated we need to delete our subject from the background so before that i'm going to expand my selection part so from the menu bar go to the select modify and expand and i'm gonna set this number to 15 and press ok now from the toolbar i'm gonna take my remove tool and brush these parts like this let's see what just happened i'm gonna turn off my sub one layer and as you see i removed my subject from the background if you don't have this feature this remove tool it's okay after you expand the selection make sure that press and hold shift plus f5 to open fill window make sure that contents it's set to content ever and active color adaptation and after that press ok let's see what just happened this is the result after this process press ctrl command d to deselect let's back to the layers panel active sub one layer and from the menu bar go to the filter other and choose high pass let me put it right here guys the number for the radius is completely depends on your image resolution don't increase it too much high numbers i mean and don't set it to low numbers as you see increase this number until you see the, the best possible for the edges i'm gonna increase it to seven is fine for me and after that press ok now if i zoom in you're gonna notice these colors and we have to remove this color so make sure that sub one layer is activated press and hold ctrl command shift u to make it black and white then i'm gonna press ctrl command zero to fix on the screen again now press ctrl command l to open levels and we're gonna start from the highlight point do a single click and move it to the left side like this and after that choose the point and move it to the right side and as you see we increase the contrast for the edges for the black edges and after that press ok back to the layers panel back to sub one layer on the empty space of the layer double click to open layer style and add a stroke like this and from the structure part i'm gonna set it to five or six pixel gonna be fine and set the position to outside and change the color to a fully black one press ok and after that press ok now get back to the layers panel again right click and choose rasterize layer style so it's gonna combine with my subject now in this part we're gonna invert the layer so we make the whites black and the blacks white so make sure that sub one layer is activated and after that press ctrl or command i and after that we have to hide the black part so i'm gonna change this blending mode from normal to screen go to the layers panel active sub to layer and turn it on and after that press and hold alt and 
add a layer mask like this which is completely black and after that press B which is brush tool shortcut and start to brushing the parts like this All right, after you're done with the brushing part, get back to the layers panel. Make sure that the layer mask for sub tool is activated. Press and hold Alt, do a single click on layer mask and drag and drop it right here on sub one layer. And after that, do a single click on its layer mask. Press and hold Ctrl command to invert it. And after that, active topmost layer. Press and hold Ctrl Command Alt Shift E. We merged all the layers and copied into a new one. Let's take a look at the before and after. Before, after, before, after, before, after. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful and you learned something new, please do a favor, thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe for new upcoming videos. Keep supporting pages and good luck.